Welcome back. And uh, this video, uh, we're going to do a quick review on the kit uh, AFB Club uh, 35 scale uh, box number 35235. It's a Ramos Mammoth. It's a uh, F Concord AEC armored command vehicle. It's part of the uh, Ramos uh, mobile uh, command, part of the uh, one of the biggest vehicle, I think, in, in, the, uh, in the selections. Uh, this, is, uh, this is it's huge. That's why it's nicknamed Mamas. It's about the same size as uh, my Tiger One tank side by side. It's the same length, uh, about the same weight. Yeah, it's, but it's actually taller than the than the Tiger. And uh, history about it uh, is about the uh, uh, it's captured by the uh, African Corps from the British. Uh, it was originally produced by the Associate uh, Equipment Company. I'm reading this from the uh, from the instructions. Uh, the company was well known for the uh, best known for their uh, double deck bus in, uh, in in England. So you see all those red buses running around. The company made produce those and they also produce uh, those uh, armed command vehicle based on the tractor or, or truck frame for the uh, British Army. So in 1941, uh, Romo captures three of them, so he kept two, and uh, one's very famous is called a Max, and the other one uh, I painted uh, is uh, number vehicle number two, Moritz. It's a little bit different color than the Max, but I prefer the uh, I think I prefer the, the second one better, so I paint that one and. Uh, yeah, this is a go through the uh, first of all go through the uh, uh, the box. Take a look at outside. Uh, very nice painting. Very nice uh, coloring and uh, give you kind of a rough uh, concept and idea of what it look, what exactly is supposed to look like. Especially the interiors. This, this is a huge uh, vehicle. So I have a full interior designed with all the uh, equipments and radios and transmissions and everything inside and the. Uh, The white uh, small piece you see here, the loose, are uh, actually the special machines, German uh, equipment, the radios, the transmission for the uh, radio signals, the uh, encryption, IGMA machines, and all the uh, all the other small equipment. They're movable. They're in different colors. You'll see them at the uh, later on. Uh, in the spruce, there's a lot of, uh, at the end, there's a lot of actually spare parts because I think the sprue also double for the, uh, uh, just the AEC uh, armor command vehicle for the British side. So a lot of equipment that not uh, using the, in the German vehicle, they left over on the sprue. And uh, fun fact, uh, the, the, the German names of Mammoth, the uh, British named them, uh, named the vehicle uh, Dorchest. Uh, because the suspicious uh, rooms inside uh, is a reference to a luxury hotel in London, England. Follow the instruction for the first couple pages, then later on I uh, have to uh, skip pages and uh, selecting building them because uh, I, most of the stuff I have to paint it, especially the interiors. I have to finish painting them before I can put them together. Once you seal them, especially the walls and stuff, if you seal three side, uh, you can't spray paint anymore. You're gonna s start creating the corners that uh, there's no paint can get to it. So have to uh, just uh, just uh, instruction a little bit. Page two complete. All the transmissions and the uh, mechanical system. So once it's done, turn around like this. Page three complete. The floor and uh, half section of the wall. I think this is the back side on the site. Like 
jump to this is, should be page nine, but it's, we build this on a step three. Uh, the front section, the driver section, inside out. Inside out. And there's a panel in here that blocking the uh, driver side to the main uh, room in the back. I didn't put it on, so I think I need this off to uh, paint inside, to spray paint inside. So everything assembled and primed. Uh, interior primed with uh, German Panzer Grey, I think that's the term. And also it's the German dark yellow. Following exactly like the uh, uh, the instructions and also a couple pictures on a box. So inside is gray. And uh, same thing for the uh, uh, frame and uh, transmission and all the mechanical part. I just primed it with dark yellow and I think I had to weather it after that. But the main part, the main color is the dark yellow. And I did the roof kind of using as a tester to test all the colors. So that's exactly uh, like this roof on here. The interior is a uh, base coat, same thing prime with a dark uh, German dark gray, panzer gray, and uh, highlighted with a uh, little bit uh, gray and white mixed. So it gave it a seating, a, a brighter color. And it fits perfectly. So this is a semi-finished product. I put on a, a sand uh, table. I built it before with some reference of the little persons here beside it. And all painted and transfers, stackles all on it. And uh, just didn't do the uh, weathering. There's some little bit of weathering on the bottom of the vehicle. Not a whole lot, just oil paint, diluted oil paint to get a uh, kind of a highlight out of the bottom. Yeah, internally, all paint and everything. Very nice kit, very nice model. I even put up the uh, little uh, sand shade here it worked out really very really good and uh, I normally don't build a vehicle with interiors because uh, it's kind of a complicated process in, in my opinion uh, if you see step by step you have to build up you have to basically paint the entire interior before you can put the whole vehicle together and then a lot of tapings a lot of uh, maskings to uh, actually do the outside when you paint them and uh, I did one uh, I think a, a dragon model for the tank it was an interior a mechanical system I just hated after that I never touched anything with interior mechanical but this is not too bad uh, the, the building up part is not too bad for interior furniture there are just big pieces all added together all those you see the machines the uh, transmission the Ignite machines, the telephones, and all the uh, uh, radios, they're all movable. So I, I just paint them separately. It's even the chairs, you see one chair fall down there. The chairs are movable, so I just paint them separately and put them in, so it's not too bad. But still, yep, what I do is I finish the inside before I even put them together. And even I put them together, a lot of stuff is still kind of uh, not glued down. I have to kind of. Uh, process them around when you uh, when you try to finish them so there you go no weather just the basic paint and transfers I, I haven't even put the uh, 
dull coal, the final coal down there, so that's why you see the transfer is still shiny. So uh, there you go. Hope you guys like it. And uh, you're going to see this vehicle uh, probably in the project later on as a background. So when I get a chance, I'm probably going to weather it. So you're going to see uh, the weather version later on. All right. Thanks, guys.